Africa's fiercest predator here. I'm just hanging out with them. Just hitting them just like cows. Just like sheep. Hurting the lions, guys. Hurting the lions. Charles and the lions down here. Hanging out in the rain with the lions. Whenever they're walking into the tall grass, they would use the tail to, uh, to GPS one another, not to, to lose one another in nature. Oh, so they can find each other when they're going through the grass. Yes. Hey, you see him whip that, he can whip that tail all over the place. So the relationship between the two brothers or among us the brothers, it's very strong, even in nature. If you come across the battle of, uh, of boys, this, this group, it becomes very dangerous in nature. Because they know that they've got nothing to lose. And they would normally bring down the bigger prey from elephants, giraffes, zebras, the bigger ones. Because I've got that stamina to do that. They're like teenagers, man. They want to go out there and conquer the world. They're invincible. Yeah. Just observe what hip hop is doing. It's very important for his survival there. He's trying to sniff around on the areas that you see where there's uh, a lot of uh, poo from the impalas. These areas, we call them the middens. So whenever the lions see them, they'll try and roll into the middens to disguise themselves. They are going to be smelling like impalas so that uh, the impalas won't be able to smell them from a distance. So that's how they disguise themselves. And also, whenever they sniff that smell, they take the smell onto the organ design called the Jacobson's organ. It's the only organ that can actually help them to, uh, to, uh, to analyze all sorts of senses in nature. So they've got a very good sense of smell, it's very acute. Oh. Trying to do his own stuff. And this guy's, oh, oh, only takes like five, one minute. So it, it would normally get a reward if he jumps higher. So each and every individual, they've got their own thing that they do. Okay. Like hip hop is a very good climber, he's not scared of heights. Milo is scared of heights and he's also scared of jumping, but he's a very good swimmer. Okay. So they've got all sorts of things that they love. So at this particular moment, they're just enjoying their personality, what they love doing. He almost brought that food back to him. What was he doing with that? Which one? A little, a little while ago, he grabbed it and he kind of brought it towards him. Okay. Yeah, uh, sometimes they say, uh, you, you, you can actually take it back and then you can give it to me later. It's, it's almost like a dog, man. Throw it again. That's Is that what it was? That's royalty. <laughs>